Hi, today we're going to be unboxing the MSI R6990. I just got this today. I've been waiting for this for several months, so I'm very happy that I finally got it. So here we go, unboxing. Plastic thing that covers this. Right. And we have something here. There's some wires. And what else do we have? Looks like we have a video driver DVD. We have some quick installation guide, and we have something else. Quick user's guide. In all kinds of languages that I don't understand. Okay. And so, before we open up the card, so we have um, a mini display port, we have a mini 2 DVI. We have an extra power connector from 6 pin to 8. And we have another, oh, we have a male version of the DEI. And we have another 6 to 8. And last but not least, we have the crossfire cable, which is the one that you can connect two of these together. And that's about it. So let's move that along. And let's open up the actual card. That's pretty much all that's in the box. Let's just put the box away. And here's the actual card. This is really, really big. Let's open up. There we go. Oh, wow. Looks very nice. Okay. So here's the card, and here's the front of it, and it says Afterburner, MSI, and the model, which is the R6990. On the top, it has the two 8-pin connectors. Each one of these is about 150 to 175 watts, so you can do the math. It's a pretty powerful card. Um, it has this caution yellow sticker on there and this is to make sure that you don't overclock the card if you don't want to but if you take this off there's a switch there from position one to position two and it makes it so you can overclock over here on the back you see both of the graphic processor units or GPUs there's two of them so this is one of the few video cards out there that has two graphic processor units Obviously on the bottom there is the standard PCI Express connector with this nice plastic sleeve. And on the back you can probably see the exhaust fins right there. And those are the aluminum fins which push the air when this thing spins, push it out in the back and the other half out the front which looks like that. And that way it cools both of the processors of both sides. And it's got this really nice Afterburner logo, which I believe has a cool little plastic shield on it. I'm going to try to remove, or maybe it doesn't. I can't tell if it doesn't. No, it doesn't, actually. So this is the way it comes. All right, and on the front here, you have the four display ports and the DVI port. So it looks like you can connect five monitors to the card. Wow. All right. Well, this is about it as far as the unboxing is concerned. Uh, please subscribe and to my channel, and I will be doing some benchmarking on this beast of a card. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.